Hey, what is up you guys? Time is back with another Linsons video. Today we have a fragrance from Paris Corner, but before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you're watching me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, an automobile, maybe you're waiting for those uh, adoption papers to go through. Maybe you're sitting there waiting to adopt a pet, a dog, cat, hamster, ferret, rabbit. Doesn't matter. You are doing that. Man, big kudos to you because animals are dope as hell, okay? But if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Everything is worth likes nowadays. Everything is so important with a like, okay? So with that being said, let's finally get into this fragrance. Now, I actually purchased this fragrance about two weeks ago uh, from Aroma Concepts, okay? Now, this is like a, this is basically, if you look at Paris Corner fragrances, they'll send you to a Paris Corner website that's kind of like in the Mideast, okay? This one, Aroma Concepts, is kind of, I think it's based out of Florida, okay? It's got great prices, and one thing I do like about their website is that with most of their fragrances, they have a note breakdown. So if they have that fragrance, and you look at the notes, they most likely have the note breakdown. Now, there are a few that they don't have the note breakdowns to, but for the most part, most of them, they do have a note breakdown. Again, that is the one thing that's hard about these Middle Eastern fragrances. Sometimes you don't know uh, what website to trust when they're giving you a note breakdown on these fragrances. So you look on there, and they give you the note breakdown. Anyways, now I bought a couple of them, and they actually sent me two more they just said hey you know we're gonna give you a couple freebies here boom boom and they sent to me this one this one was definitely a nice surprise definitely go check those guys out very nice people over there very responsive too when you leave messages on their instagram and stuff very responsive they get back to you right away so go check them out but this one is from paris corner amir now if you guys remember amir e-m-i-r now, what I'm thinking is Paris Corner, again, is like the Latafa, okay? Now, here's Paris Corner. Now, here are their branches. And Amir is like the name they use to market their fragrances. And ooh, I think we have... But I think we have a nice uh, mailman brought us some new fragrances. Those are the new fragrances down there waiting for me to open up can't wait for you guys to see that but doggies are done barking they're barking back inside the house but here we go this is that oh, blue oud oh, blue oud this is supposedly a clone of zerzhov's more than words the mtw if you like abbreviations a little bit better but anyways wah oh, paris amir wah oh, blue okay now take a look at that bottle very nice very heavy in the hand the cap is nice but take a look at that bottle kind of got this orange ambery color down here kind of comes up starts getting to this light blue light blue and then it gets dark blue gold cap right at the top which again is very heavy and at the top that atomizer you do got paris corner right there look at all that detailing with these fragrances man some of these fragrances do go above and beyond now this one was about 65 dollars now we shall see. Now you guys already know how much a Zerzhov fragrance goes for. Well over $200 most of the time. Maybe even more. Who knows? I ain't buying it. So here we go. This one I actually sprayed like two weeks ago. Okay, I actually got this like two, maybe three weeks ago. And I actually sprayed it. Kind of gave it like an initial wearing. Okay, a lot of times when I first do these videos, I'm spraying it. Kind of giving you my first impressions. The day I first sprayed it. I was about to do a video, then I got distracted, and then I didn't. And at first, I'm not gonna lie, I actually kinda didn't like this fragrance, okay? And maybe because I was indoors, and when I sprayed it, all I kinda got was a little bit of this fruitiness, a little bit of this woody, woody, kind of almost leathery, this floral scent. But then, when I took this outdoors today, Today, I finally gave this a wearing. I took this outdoors walking the doggy. As you can hear them, they're probably asking for another walking. But when I wore this today, man, this is one of those times where, again, don't kind of 
judge the book by the cover on your first attempt, okay? Give it a couple more wearings. If you still don't like it, again, remember, you got to try these fragrances sometimes in certain situations. Again, it's breezy out here today. You guys can see the leaves are moving. It's like 75 degrees. It's nice. It's sunny. There's barely any clouds in the sky, even though it looks kind of gray. But this is one of those fragrances that you have to wear outdoors on a breeze or if you are going to be indoors maybe you want somewhere to be uh that's got a nice kind of uh air conditioned uh building something like that that and outdoors in a breeze you don't want to wear this in high heat sticky swampy you don't want to wear this with that okay it's not it's not going to work okay but outdoors on your clothes this is one of those fragrances like if you guys remember with mythical I actually told you guys, like some of you guys, hey, if you just want to see how strong Mythical is, all you got to do, and this is the same thing, take your finger right here, right? Rub it on that tip like that. Go like this. With that Mythical, okay? Give yourself a dirty Sanchez. It's worth it. Doesn't smell like shit. Take that, do that, do your beard if you want to, and then just walk around. You will smell this all day. You don't even have to do anything else. But if you really want to be a projection beast, a projection monster, then you spray with this, okay? And now here's the thing. You guys, this was like 65 bucks, okay? Compared to a Zerzhoff, if you were to buy a Zerzhoff, and then you wear that once a month, you gotta, yeah, 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 you can spray a lot, okay, if you really want to. But let's say this, for instance, there are a lot of fragrances out there that cost like three, four hundred dollars, and people complain about performance. If you are spending three to four hundred dollars for a fragrance, why are you complaining about performance? Performance should be the last of the worries of a fragrance that expensive, okay? Because the smell, as long as the smell is right, that doesn't matter. But if your performance is lacking, why spend three, four hundred dollars when these things cost like sixty? Even if you went with a dual route or um, uh, Alexandria route. Now, I told you the reason why I don't get those, but if you wanted to, you could actually absolutely go those routes to King's Fragrances, Central Obsessions, all those different fragrances, Sammy Andrews, all those different options you can easily go to and try. But when you want a nice bottle, though, this is where I suggest the Middle Easterns, okay? Because the Middle Easterns are kind of give you almost the same bottle as the real deal, something that looks good, okay? Again, how many people in your inner circle will come to your house and know what a Zerzhoff is, okay? Not that many, okay? Only if a lot of frag heads are actually coming to your house to discuss frags. I don't know. Who has parties like that? Does anyone have parties like that? Does, do, do people just sit and discuss fragrances sitting around a campfire? Hey, man, you, you smell that? I, I, I haven't had no parties like that. Have you guys had any parties like that? Haven't. So, with that being said, if you like that fruity, that kind of earthy, that floral, that kind of woody, sweet smell. Okay, it's not too sweet. It's just nice and fruity. The sea that you get on this thing is very nice. You definitely leave a nice scent trail. Right now, I'm on a balcony, okay? The last time I had this, I sprayed it out here. And then there's another window, like maybe like 10 feet away, that I went over to that room and I can smell it through that window. So I'm telling you, the trail that you leave with this fragrance, unbelievable very nice trail this is probably more for the women's side of things that fruitiness kind of makes it a little bit more feminine now that's up in the air but when you smell on skin you'll definitely get that ooty that kind of earthy that kind of green floral if you will that kind of smell so right there when you're smelling it there you're gonna think okay this is kind of right down the middle right there but when you smell this in the air you're gonna say okay it probably leans more feminine on the side of things now what you could do with this fragrance especially with those fruity notes. You can take something that's super leathery, maybe something that's got nice tobacco or some nice spices, maybe a nice spiced-based fragrance, something that's got spices right at the top. Maybe layer this with some Sauvage. Hmm. Layer this with some Spice Bomb. Hmm. That just might make this a more masculine-approved fragrance, okay? So, uh, with this being said, Man, again, this is not more of a first impression. This is more of like a full review. This fragrance smells great, you guys. Again, if you like that type type of DNA, that fruity, floral, kind of earthy, leathery, floral, uh, if that's what you like, if you are into those type of fragrances, that DNA scent profile, then definitely give this one a shot. 
This one is not, again, I don't suggest everyone go buy this only if you like that type of thing. And if you are new to niche, maybe you're about to get into niche, start off with the Middle Easterns first. They're making the niche style fragrances. They're giving you the EDP concentration. Some of them are giving you the Parfum Extract versions as well. So check those out as well. And plus, again, the one reason why I like these over Duas, Dappers, all that Alexandria's, they're all great houses. Don't get me wrong, they are all great. But these ones kind of give you that similar feel of the bottle. And again, unless you're around a gazillion frag heads that know exactly what frags you got, people are going to come to your house and they're going to be like, man, that bottle looks nice. What is it? You're going to say it's Paris Corner. I'm not even going to lie. But now if I go outdoors and I want to smell good, I'm going to lie to people and be like, yeah, this is that first off. Yeah, $300. Nah, I don't do that, man. I don't play that. I tell people straight up. $60 fragrance. I'm not like that, man. But anyways, there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this fragrance is going to do best outdoors with a nice breeze, cool weather, winter. Even the winter, this is going to be nice because that fruity explosion that you're going to get is definitely going to penetrate that cold weather. Summer, you can wear it, but only if you're going indoors. If you're going to be outdoors all day, do not wear this, especially if it's sticky or if it's swampy feeling, it's hot as hell. Do not wear this. Don't wear this in Vegas. Do not do it. It's probably not going to be your best option, okay? Go with something more citrusy, white floral, something like that, okay? This is not white florals. It's not citrusy. It's straight up fruity. It's kind of oody. It's kind of leathery. It's kind of got this greenness to it. Boom. Boom. Tough acting, ten acting. This is Wa Blue Oud from Paris Corner, the Amir lineup. Again, take a look at that. Paris Corner right on the sprayer, if you will. But great fragrance. Nonetheless, go check it out. Again, if you guys liked that video, and I hope you guys did, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, comment, like. Hey, hit that notification bell, too. So that way you will be notified man go check out all my videos i got plenty of videos i got videos from when i was just a pup in the game now i'm here hopefully we keep on climbing okay so peace out yeah.